Hey you guys, it's Toya and thank you for watching Toya JTV. We are continuing on with the series, How to Grow Your Hair While Wearing Nothing But Weaves, Wigs, Whatever your protective styling choice is, you can insert it there. Mine is wigs. I've been wearing nothing but wigs for almost six months now. And at the end of this six months, I am going to take my hair completely down from these braids. And we're going to see exactly how long it is. Um, last week, I did not shampoo my hair. Well, this week, I did not shampoo my hair. Alright, so this is what it looks like. You can barely see my scalp, which when you can barely see the scalp in between the braids, because when I first got it done, you could see very clearly the parts, you know, in my scalp where it was parted. The fact that you cannot see that at this point only means that the hair is growing. What it means is that as the hair grows, you know, uh, these braids are going to look like they're coming closer and closer together and that's covering up the actual part see if I actually see if I actually pull the hair apart and pull it tight you can see the scalp again but once I let it go then the part that has grown is is over that so that is great you know the fact that I can almost stick my my finger under here uh, if it wasn't braided to the scalp I would be able to stick my whole pinky finger under there and you see the width of that's the width of my pinky finger maybe what half an inch three-fourths of an inch it's not a full inch but that's how much my hair grew in just a couple of weeks so that is awesome um and that just lets me know that when you do nothing to your hair it will grow just stop manipulating it so much putting this much heat in it um it will grow all right, so for this week, the only thing I'm going to do is continue to moisturize it with uh, my oil. And I love this oil that I made simply because um, it's a combination of a lot of different oils um, that promote hair growth. So when you put that directly on the scalp um, it's, it, and massaging in the scalp, that's helping um, it to facilitate the hair growth process just a little bit faster so I mean it comes in this dropper so that way I can put the oil directly where I need it to go because you don't really want it on the hair you want it on the actual scalp so it can get uh, to the follicle the hair follicle where the hair actually grows and don't worry um, I have really just been testing this formula during this series but um this oil will be available for sale as soon as this series is over or close to when the series is over and you can get it for yourself uh, for now if you are still wanting to know well what kind of oil do i use now while i'm waiting on yours to come out you can use whatever oil you have. Just take a little light, you know, take some and put it directly on your scalp. Massage it in and there you have it. And then I love this oil also because it helps when my scalp, uh, because a lot of times uh, I think my hair has really been spoiled and that it gets shampooed. It's used to being shampooed every week. So when it's not shampooed every week, it starts letting me know that it's ready. By itching, it'll start, my scalp will start itching so bad. Um, and this oil helps to control that itch. So I'm just, you know, making sure that it gets in on the scalp. And that helps also to moisturize the scalp. Which will in turn make my hair moisturized. Alright, so anytime the hair it stays moisturized properly, that reduces breakage, shedding, all that good stuff. It reduces it drastically because the hair is not so dry, so brittle from being dry that it breaks. 
So, the, you know, when you continue to moisturize it, it helps it out a lot. You'll see, once I take this down, um, I'm not going to have nearly as much uh, breakage and shedding as I normally have. Um, you cannot not have any shedding whatsoever because the hair goes through stages. It goes through the growth process and it goes through the resting phase and it goes through the shedding phase. But luckily for us, the growth phase is always more active than the resting and the shedding phase. Okay, so just from the hair's normal um, routine, it's gonna shed some. It's, it's okay to shed up to one to 200 hairs per day. That's perfectly normal. Anything more than that, like if you're seeing handfuls of your hair come out at a time, then that's not normal and that's something that you would need to get checked to see what is actually causing that. All right, you guys, so that's all that I'm doing for this week, just making sure my hair is properly moisturized. Next week, I um, am definitely gonna come back and uh, take this completely down and uh, shampoo my hair deep condition it, all that. So that's it for now. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna let the oil kind of soak in good. Then I'm gonna put my wig cap on and I'll put my wig on for the week, which I will come back and show you the wig that I will be wearing for the week. And up underneath the wig, my hair will be properly moisturized. It's not, uh, the wig is not breaking my hair off cause it's not super tight. You know, I make all of my wigs myself. Um, using hair from L. Jones Hair Collection, of course. And I custom them to fit my head perfectly. So there's, I don't use any combs, clips, none of that. I, um, well, I take that back. This wig, I'm not. Some wigs, like when I do the wigs where I can pull them up, you know, in a high ponytail or, you know, put them in a bun or whatever. Sometimes I will use clips in those, um, but I'll go more in depth than that later when I actually wear those wigs to show you how to not uh, break your hair off when doing that. But we'll talk about that when, when that time comes, okay? All right, so I will be back after I have gotten makeup done, my wig on, and all that jazzy stuff. But this is the most important part, the keeping your hair underneath the wig healthy, okay? It may not look like much, but this hair is healthy, okay? So I will be back later. All right, you guys, so this is the finished product. Uh, this is Bridget the Bob, and this is a redhead. I'm really loving reds these days. Well, I've, I've always loved red hair, but um, she's like a reddish brown. Or should I say a brownish red? Because she's more red with a little hint of brown. Alright, and there you have it. This is my look for the week. My hair is properly being taken care of up under here. And I will show you the back. So this is my look for the week. Um, and I normally, well, I didn't make it to go behind the ears. It's supposed to be like this, but I really don't like it like that. So I kind of just tuck it because that's how I wear my real hair. I wear my real hair tucked behind my ears. All right, you guys, so this is, this is my look for the week. Like I said, this is Bridget the Bob. This hair can be purchased at ljoneshaircollection.com, but the hair does not come red. Um, the hair, all of it comes in a dark brown, like a number two if you're used to wearing hair. If you're not used to wearing hair and don't know what number two means, that means it's like a dark, dark brown, almost close to an off black. 
um, and then I have to color the hair because this virgin hair has never been colored. But every wig that I do, I make them all myself and all of my hair is from my own collection. LJonesHairCollection.com If you would like to order, this is fantastic hair and this wig will last me years, okay? Um, I'll be putting her on the website soon. Um, so you won't be able to purchase this one, but I can make you one that looks like this one and color it this color and all of that good stuff all right you guys so thank you for watching uh i will see you all next week i think we only have about one or two more weeks in this series uh so i will see you all next week and i will talk to you later don't forget to subscribe to the channel uh get all your friends to subscribe and all of that good stuff and i'll see you all next week talk to you later Bye bye